Hello transport nerds and fellow planners and welcome back to Talking Planning. Today's review is quite an interesting one as I managed to get this rather interesting rail bus on a T4 line closure back in February. This is a 1996 build Scania L113 fitted with a North Coast body which some of my Bundaberg based viewers may even recognise. After being retired from Duffy's City Buses, Shire Bus Service snapped up the pair of these, along with a few other ex-Queensland vehicles. These include an ex-Hornybrook Bus Lines Mercedes 0405 NH, with a Volgren CR221L body, and a couple of ex-Kangaroo Bus Lines Mercedes 0405 NHs with the custom 510 front. Like a few of the other Duffy's City Buses that I reviewed, these old Scanias lack air conditioning. Unfortunately, I caught these buses on quite a hot weekend in Sydney and the traffic was pretty horrible. So we couldn't move fast enough to get fresh air into the bus. Still, it's not like I was going very far. Or so I thought until I remembered that this bus runs express to Sutherland. And of course, we're stuck in traffic on Moore Park Road. At least, while we wait, there are some inbound buses going past. Including this Scania from Brighton Coaches, which is an impressive looking machine. I also spotted this Hopkinson's Hyger Road Boss, which isn't quite as impressive looking but it is air conditioned, something that I wish this bus had on a 32 degree day. Let's take a little bit of a look around this bus. It is basic with handrails mounted on the ceiling and sliding windows, as well as roof hatches. The bucket seats are simply molded plastic with a thin cushion and this was a popular design throughout the mid to late 90s which caused sore bums all the way across Australia. You can find similar seats on Sydney's Volvo B10 BLEs and they were present on Brisbane Transport's later Volvo B10Ls and some B10Ms. And that's about everything from the interior. Fortunately there is more than the austere interior to talk about here as we haven't even scratched the surface on Shire bus service. We have a really interesting fleet and were also custodians for a 1980 build articulated bus until only recently. They also seem to have bought a few Queensland buses, including some from Bundaberg, so if you can explain that link, that would be most welcome. In terms of Shire Bus Service's business model of keeping old buses going, it reminds me a lot of red and white bus service from Brisbane. For private charters and some school runs, I think that's great, and it's good to see older vehicles getting a new lease on life. Being a Scania L113, these are fitted with an 11 litre engine and they're quite loud, so let's have a little bit of a listen now. This journey got even better because it includes some plane spotting at Sydney Airport, a pink metro liner and a tunnel run. Oh, 
although the Scania isn't quite as sweet sounding as a high revving supercar. Still, we're now on the other side heading along the shores of Botany Bay, gracefully ignoring the water and looking at a Compass Tours coach head past. Closer to President Avenue, have a glimpse of the bay on this stunning and toasty summer's day. Don't worry, I wasn't going to deprive you of the water views. By this point though, I really was wishing this bus had air conditioning and that I hadn't finished my last sip of water. Still, as we move inland, it is interesting to make our way through Congra and Carlton, where there is plenty of plate glass on the buildings to catch this vehicle's reflection in. over the Georges River, which is beautiful and calm today, but unfortunately, I can't help but feel a little insulted by the name of the bridge on the right-hand side. Sure, I like the idea of things being named in my honour, but they really didn't need to point out the ugly bit. Brittle bridge naming aside, I enjoyed my journey out to Sutherland, but after around an hour of travel time on a very hot day, even I was looking forward to getting off this bus. Fortunately, after rounding a few more corners, the station was in sight and there was a lineup of other rail replacement vehicles to guide us in. So let's say goodbye to today's Scania. Although I really enjoyed my trip on board, I really wasn't in a rush to catch another bus without aircon back into town, so instead I made my way back to Central on this Volvo B9R operated by Compass Tours. So thanks for joining me and I will see you again soon.